Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, so you come here. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 19 and 9. And they put him in prison in chains. And they bring him to the king of Babylon. They bring him into the bulwarks so that his voice is not heard on the mountains of Israel anymore. God says, somebody, there is someone that, like, I just feel like this person keeps trying to get you to come to them. And they keep trying to get you to come to them. God said this person's intention is to kind of, like, put you in a prison. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person wants to um, have you, like, I don't want to say chained up, like, literally. But they want to have you chained. They want to have you secluded. They want to have you where can't nobody get to you. They want to have you where um, can't nobody see you. Can't nobody touch you. And for somebody, it could be a situation where this is somebody, like, it's a relationship type thing. This is somebody that is very controlling. Like, you know, I get that. There's some things, like, certain people like certain things. You know what I'm saying? Certain people, they don't want to be with somebody that do certain things. But I just feel like this is somebody, it's kind of like, it's not fair if one person is doing the stuff and the other person can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've been in a relationship like that where I will be at home, you know what I'm saying? And I'm at home with baby boy. All day, every day, all night, every night, and you know what I'm saying. He, he, you know, guy, he going out Friday. He gotta go out every Friday. He out, he out, he out. He partying all night long, and I barely would have any nights to where I would be able to go out. And you know what I'm saying. If I did, it'll be every blue moon. He would take me somewhere, and it just, it used to frustrate me because I wanted to go out. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to have fun. And you know what I'm saying? I understand that sometimes um, men don't see it from a woman's perspective. And especially like, you know, me at that point in time, I was a stay at home mom. As you know, I'm basically I'm now, even though I'm working, I was working then, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, doing what I'm doing now. But I was, um, uh, I was working then at that point in time I had my um makeup line so I was working then but you know it wasn't just like it wasn't the same and I was at home all day every day all day every day all day every day I'll wake up work out do my makeup photo shoot take all that off cook clean up a little bit and that was my day. You know what I'm saying? That was literally my day. Taking care of my son and working. Like, and I was in the house basically 24-7. The only time I would go somewhere is when I was, like, shopping or something like that. And that wasn't an everyday thing. I'm saying this to say, it's, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, 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 it can get very, um... It can get very kind of depressing. It can get kind of sad. It can get kind of like, I just feel repetitive and it can be uh, very stressful because even as me being somebody that is very introverted and I am at my happiest when I'm in the house, I'm at my happiest when I'm by myself, but there are times when I do want to socialize regardless if I want to, you know, regardless if it's a date. If it's hanging out with friends and family, if it's actually going out and, you know, having a drink or two, dancing, you know what I'm saying? I love these things. So, playing pool, <coughs> <coughs> golf, whatever, something, you know what I'm saying? Going to the pool, the, to the actual pool, like with water, something, something. And you know what I'm saying? Even basketball game, a concert, something, anything. You know what I'm saying? It's better than, like, when I get to that point to where, okay, I got to socialize with somebody my age. It, it gets kind of like, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying, you know, you may have to vocalize this. 
because this is somebody that feel like you should just be okay with just being caged in the house like a caged bird. They just want you to be sitting in the house on your little, like, what did the, they have the little swings, and they have, like, you know how the birds habitat, they have all the little stuff in there for birds, and the whole time, the bird is like, I just want out of here. I just, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this stoop. I'm sick of whatever little toys you got in there. They sick of the food, the little pellets. They sick of the water. They sick of everything. <coughs> they want out. God said, this is somebody, this person, like, they want you to conform, be conformed to just, be it like a caged bird. And that's how you feel. You feel like they want you to be a caged bird. They feel like they want you to be a caged bird. And they they just want you to be sitting there and looking pretty. And when they come and look at you, they come and look at you. And then they gone. And it's like they free. You stuck in a cage. God said, uh-uh. That ain't right. That ain't right. And you know what I'm saying? Especially like I said, um... Like, my, my, my past relationship with, I, like, I'm watching, you know what I'm saying, get, go, go get all jazzed up and out the door. And it's like, I like to get jazzed up too. You know what I'm saying? I like to put on my heels. I like to wear makeup from time to time. I like to, you know what I'm saying, get myself together. I would like to go out. Okay? I would like to go out. You, it, it's just, it's like, hmm. <laughs> It's just like, I just feel like Cinderella vibes. How Cinderella was just like, um, and I'm thinking about the, um, I forgot the name of it, but I'm thinking of uh, the version with Brandy in it and how she was just, you know, at the end of the song, in my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. Well, she's looking out the window and she's just like, it's, I'm sorry for laughing at whoever this is, but that's how I feel. That's the vibe that I get. Like, you're just looking out the window, and you see the birds outside flying. And you're like, oh, I want to fly like that. And you see the squirrel collecting its little foods for the winter. And you're like, oh, I would like to go out and collect things. And you know, you see the dogs barking and causing havoc and mayhem. And you're like, oh, man, I would like to go and pet the dog. And it's just like, you just... Stuck like shook. God said, eh. That's how you feel. They put him in prison in chains and they bring him to the king of Babylon. They bring him to bulwarks so that his voice is not heard on the mountains of Israel anymore. And for somebody, it's a situation where you can't even defend yourself. This person, like, whatever it is y'all got going on. I don't know what's going on in y'all relationship, okay? I don't know if this is y'all guy. I don't know if y'all got an open relationship. I don't know why they came by, but for somebody, y'all got an open relationship. Or maybe this person think it's okay for them to cheat, but it's not okay for you to cheat. <laughs> <coughs> or maybe, you know what I'm saying, and that might be for somebody because, baby, but, um... They, 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 they have basically put this on a one-sided handle where they can go and say whatever they want to say and feel however they want to feel. And you got to hush and be quiet and sit there. And can't nobody come and rescue you. Nobody is having your back. Nobody is backing you up. Nobody understands how you feel. And you know what I'm saying? I've seen it time and time again. Well, a man will go out and cheat. Act a complete fool. Like, uh, what's his, <laughs> that's calling days, a T.I. and Tidy situation. T.I., we are bad and Tidy do one thing, and he, he, he ready to fight and ready to snatch people up, and he acted a complete fool. And that is how men are. It's so many men. I'm not going to say all, I ain't going to put all in a bunch, but it's a bunch of men that's like, they will go out and just, they didn't slip with a whole block. And the, the woman who is heartbroken because he refused to stop cheating. Go with one person, and now he is ready to tear the house apart. 
snatch her up, snatch him up, snatch everybody up. Everybody they take, okay? Uh, take your names now. Ask your questions later. That type of vibe. I just feel like it's that kind of vibe. This person is using this against whoever. <coughs> That's not fair. <coughs> and it, I even feel like this person may even be using that as am, am, ammunition to carry on doing what they doing as if they wasn't wrong in the first place, as if that's not what they, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, that's what I just feel. I just feel that vibe. I'm thinking about how um, the best man, how Mia, you know what I'm saying? Mia was the quiet girl, you know what I'm saying? The sweet girl, church girl. She ain't do nothing wrong. Lance just cheating on her with any and everybody. No, good and well, he ain't have no intentions of being serious with none of them women. He ain't have no intentions of marrying not one of them. He ain't have no intentions of actually starting a family with not one of them. But he just laying it down like it's going out of style. Mia did one thing. He tore up everything, tore, ready to tear up the church, ready to tear up the hotel, wherever they was at. He acted a complete fool. A complete fool. And me, like men that do stuff like that, hypocrites. It's very hypocritical. If you you can't you you dish it out, but you can't take it. And if you don't want nobody that's gonna cheat on you, how about you don't cheat? That part. How about you try not cheating? How about you try giving the woman that you love your attention, your affection? How about you give her some time? How about you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like if you, you, you gotta, you gotta choose your battle. But it can't be a situation where you just go lock her away like a caged bird, like she's a prisoner and she did something wrong while you running free and acting a fool. Meanwhile, you like a puppy going around sniffing everybody butt, but she gotta sit in the house. She got to sit in the house, and she can't come out. Woo! Baby, God said for whoever this is for, he is seeking judgment upon this man for how he did you. He's seeking judgment upon him for what he's doing. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like this is somebody your voice has been taken from you. You can't defend yourself. Don't nobody want to hear what you're talking about. Everybody that, you know what I'm saying, is going to agree with him. That you in the wrong. But from God's perspective, he started it. He started it. He started it. He started it. I'm thinking about what was I watching the other day? Dang. Oh. I was watching Major Pain. And it was the part where uh, the boys was trying to get him fired. And they came in and messed with him. And one of the boys was dressed like, you know, in a dress. And they was trying to get a picture of him with the boy in the dress. And he made them all wear dresses and run out on the lawn. And, uh, you know, the, the, the female teacher came out and was like, what are you doing? Okay, he said they started it. They started it. They, they, they started it. She was like, I'm going to finish it. God said he's going to finish it. Okay? God is going to finish it. God is going to finish it. They started it. The, the man in this city, he started it. He started it. He started, and he know he did. You know what I'm saying? And he know he did. You know what I'm saying? And he know he did. He know he did. He know he did. He know he, know he has been withholding affection from you, attention from you, love from you, probably been taking these, you know what I'm saying, women all about the city, and uh, you know what I'm saying, flossing and showing them off. Meanwhile, he wants you to be in the house like a caged bird. You know what I'm saying? And don't let it be a situation, you know what I'm saying, where this person, y'all not even married, you know what I'm saying? They they not even putting you, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's not fair to you. <coughs> <coughs> it's not fair for you to be... I just feel like this is somebody that is putting you in a position to where you are just alone. And that's not fair to you. You know what I'm saying? You deserve love. You deserve affection. You deserve attention. And if they don't want to give it to you because they too busy finding other people to give their love and attention to, then maybe they're not the one for you. 
You know what I'm saying? And if they feel like they still need to find other people to give love, affection, and attention to, then maybe they not the one for you. And if they not the one for you, you don't have no reason to be locked in a house like no caged bird. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your energy. You are wasting your efforts. And if they do feel like they the one for you, they need to open their mouth and say something. They can't, you know what I'm saying? It, like they need to, they need to make that known. Regardless if it's making it official, you know what I'm saying? Getting married. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all already, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, y'all, y'all go ahead and tie the night. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like this is somebody they dragging their feet. He's dragging his feet and he's doing it on purpose because he wants to be able to go out and chase after all these other women. And if that's what he want to do, that's fine. He needs to say that. He cannot force you to be in the house like a caged bird. Meanwhile, he out acting a complete fool. Uh-uh. We ain't finna do that. That ain't right. That ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like that's what it is. And even if y'all, it was a situation where that's not what he doing. It's not fair. He could take you out. Y'all could go out together. There are so many things that y'all could y'all could go, regardless if it's a picnic, go out to eat, go to a little bar and have a few drinks. Y'all could go, you know, go dancing. Y'all could go play pool, shoot some pool. Y'all could, you know what I'm saying? So many things that y'all could do as a couple. Go to the movies, go shopping, whatever. There are so many things that y'all could do together. Spending time with each other where you are not feeling as if you're a caged bird. But this is somebody that got you feeling like you a caged bird and you in prison. And that's not right. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. And I understand this person may not want you to do whatever happened. I don't know what happened, but they, they may have that fear. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, they also are not taking accountability for why that happened. You know what I'm saying? Because especially best man situation, that was 100%. She was sick and tired of less acting the fool. And she was like, you know what? You act like you the only one. They could go out and act up. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like that's what it is. Like this person, they might have felt that way. Like they was the only one that could go out and act up. And then they found out that you could act up too. And they wasn't having it. They, they shut it down. God said, no, 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 no. They need to stop. God said he will finish it. They started it. He'll finish it. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And for whoever this is for, you are not on punishment. You're not on punishment. God saw that. God saw that they started it. God saw that it was them first and that you wasn't really doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Baby, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. God said for somebody, this person has lied on you and trying to make everything out to be your fault, but it's them.